All right, guys, we are headed down to JP's. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and fix some camber issues on the race car. Tires are leaning in just a hair, so we're gonna fix that, and then we'll be ready to test the new engine, and which I can't wait. Hopefully we can go Sunday and do that. In addition to that, we're taking Sam's car down there. Her uh, rear tires are slanted in, so they're gonna do some work on that. It's eating the back tires off of it. So they were towed out and uh, cambered in, which is not good. So the cause of that is we had a gravel driveway, which is now paved, thanks to Reed's paving. And um, super nice, by the way. But before that, it was like driving on the moon. It was like craters everywhere and huge bumps. And Sam liked to drive down it and up it at about 400 miles per hour. So, so Jackie will get to working on that while we're working on a race car. So what I need from you guys, if you're not subscribed, we appreciate you watching the videos. Keep on watching, liking. Uh, we would appreciate it if you subscribed. But if you are a viewer of this channel, whether it be a one-time viewer or you're subscribed or you watch every video and you're a watch from the beginning or if you're a new watcher, just comment below where you guys are from. If you wanna say what you drive, whether it's a race car, your daily driver, a truck, Razor, side-by-side, -side, it doesn't matter. Uh, just comment where you're from and let us know uh, who's watching these videos. All right, that's enough of me talking. Let's get to JP's and fix this race car. some tension on them but I've broken this one loose. I'm gonna try to get us a good camera angle here. Bear with me. But I've got this one broke loose. So all we need to do is uh our we have I can't remember if it's negative or positive but the top of the wheel is in. So we're gonna loosen this up. We've loosened the jam nuts up on both sides. And then we'll turn these probably about three flats each, and then we'll do the other side. Hopefully we'll have no more camber issues. flats on this side on each side so uh, there's half one and a half <sighs> two a few minutes later all right we're buttoned up on this side um, I measured it with the uh, level over there and with the pooch of the tire sitting out on the bottom it's just about perfect so if it's towed in it's barely perceptible or cambered in excuse me this one's quite a ways out so uh, I probably will have to go about four flats on this side uh, yeah I'd say about four and we'll sit it down and measure it and see where we're at I got this side set down. I'm pretty happy with that side. We went four flats over here. I initially went two over here. I think we're gonna have to go a little bit more. So I'll take that back apart and we'll put two more flats in it. 
20 minutes later. All right, I got the one and a half more flats in this side, so we'll see if that's enough to get it straight here. Probably have to roll it out a little bit. Get the wheels settled where I want them. And then we'll check it again. It looks good. I mean, it don't look too bad. Looking a little better. Still might not be there. Mm. Still a little out. I might have to take it apart again and do that again. Hopefully not, but it's looking that way. Still cambered out of here. as far as the video goes but um everything is done here uh we got the camber corrected on both sides it looks really good the tires are finally standing up straight and uh we also adjusted the toe and we got it within a 16th of an inch so that's better than it's ever been and uh i think we're about ready to test this thing i'm waiting on uh sam's car still so i don't have a ride home so i went ahead and polished my wheels and then I uh, also climbed into Johnny's vet and remembered just how tight that thing is in there. Actually, let's just, I'll just show you. I'll see if I can set this camera up and show you all. It's a tight fit in here. I gotta melt into this thing and you gotta get your foot into it <laughs> all right all right so this is how tight this thing is my head is basically touching the top so jp has to get in lean forward put his helmet on and then it kind of sits against the bars but <laughs> if you uh if you were uh, which we never want to say this out loud but if you were to uh have an accident or anything this car is super safe so i'd like to add these bars to my car i might buy a kit and do it one of these days but this baby's a little tight if you was any bigger than me or jp you ain't getting in it so uh but other than that i think i've covered everything today it probably won't be a very long video but we got some stuff done we are about ready to uh run the vega down the track with the 427 in it so i'm not nervous but i'm anxious to see what it's going to do it's going to be very violent compared to that 355 and uh i can't wait hopefully we can go sunday in addition to that i've spoken to thomas uh wilson with twin branch so hopefully if uh the kids aren't too stand by compressors on 11 minutes later and we're back i can't remember what i was saying now but the compressor is off but anyway we're going to try to go up to a twin branch today and see thomas and see what all progress is being made 
that's dependent on how grumpy my kids are when we get home because they can be uh, how do I put this they can be real a-holes sometimes to put it frankly so uh, hopefully we can go up there give you guys an update but for now thank you for watching this video thank you for subscribing the YouTube channel is doing very well and uh, we really appreciate you guys so we want as I've said before we want to be a voice for the racing community here in Charleston actually in the state of West Virginia period and I want to kind of change the narrative here West Virginia is known for being last at everything and you know what I'm tired of it so let's start a racing culture here let's get twin branch open um, everyone's again with the negativity around uh, like Canal Valley Dragway we can have more than one track you know we don't need no negative Nancy's Let's get all these tracks open and let's go racing and then we'll build some more. Well, let's go from there. But thank you for watching. We'll see you guys soon. To the people commenting on the videos, I'm listening. So next time we go, I'm gonna practice my bumping in the light. I'm gonna practice uh, doing the same thing every time, trying to get in the bulbs right. And in addition to that, some people said, make sure I check my front tire pressure. We just did that and I'm gonna check it again before we run. So I'm listening. Um, hopefully, there's no drama, this thing goes straight down the track and uh, we'll see what happens. So, like I said guys, comment where you're from and what I also want you to do is comment your predictions on what this thing is gonna run. So I bought the 427 from Johnny. This car, this 427 ran 560s in this car. My car is 180 pounds lighter. So comment your predictions on what this thing is gonna run and uh, if somebody bumps it on the nose or gets it dead right or close, I'll probably send you something. Just uh, just put it in the comments, but we'll see you guys soon. What do you think? I don't even feel the same. Well, that's a good thing. But, let's see, what else? I'm trying to remember where I ended off my last video. But we're taking it to I-64 and testing it in the morning. It'll be the first time we go down the track. So this will probably be the end of the video where we fix the front end. And uh, we'll see you guys in a few. We'll go test this thing. Good deal. Levi, what is that? What is it? Yeah. You want to show Sissy? Okay, let's show her.